got a boulders area mile marker 14 my back tire is terrible i need to get a new one really bad now i got a couple loose spokes big josh my back Good tire mate. is fucking perfect <laughs> dude yours is so much skinnier compared to mine yeah i don't know i need to get a bigger one man and then we got barster out here he decided to come out here yesterday he rode yesterday he brought the 150 150 out kind of just messed around on that thing it hasn't been ridden in like probably a year dang so i thought i'd bring it out yeah right i think the last time i seen this thing was when justin was out and now it's probably eight oh, yeah. eight nine months ago yeah at least right. right in the beginning of winter Yeah, so today we uh, we decided to come out here to to boulders just because past past couple weekends in a row we're going to Wildcat and uh, 144 Street Rio Verde, so just figured we'd do something a little bit different this, this time around. It was originally supposed to be me and Josh um, coming out here, but we were talking to Bart yesterday at a graduation party and. He was like, hey man, let me, let me talk along with you guys and, and uh, check this stuff out. So, that's kind of our plan today. I'm kind of explore a little bit. Have a good time. I forgot my damn chest protector though, so can't be getting too crazy. It's pretty dusty today, so I'm going to try to stay back a little bit just so I'm not stuck in that dust.
high school in football, I, uh, I, I tore both of them up pretty bad. So every time I get any type of any type of activity going, I always freaking end up popping it out of socket or something. Freaking sucks. So I'm a little sore. But that was not gonna stop me. Hey, this is fun. Yeah, we've, we've done this trail the other way. Have we? It's a lot more dusty out here compared to Wildcat. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice to come out here when it rains. Oh, yeah. You see a rock or something, you're going to hit it and then you're going to deflect and then so look far ahead as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, try to do that, ride those higher gears. And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I know, yeah, <clears throat> I think I'm going to try for it. Yeah. Yeah, you can click it up in the fifth and just see what it does. It's not yeah. going to hurt anything, but. Because <laughs> you're doing good. That last ride, you didn't get stuck on anything. Yeah. You know, once you, and then once you pick the pace up a little bit, you'll find that you can relax more. Yeah. And it's not about going fast, it's going about going the right speed. Exactly. You know, you don't want to go too fast past mm -hmm. your comfort zone, and you don't want to go too slow because you're being timid, because that'll just, all that's going to do is, Going slow, the bike's gonna be all jerky, mm -hmm. and it's not gonna be smooth. Exactly. And it's just gonna make you like, like not have as much fun. Once you flow a little more, man, you're gonna you're gonna love it because yeah. you'll flow through these trails. Yeah. You know, stand up when you're turning, weight your outside pegs. Yeah. Once you get that rhythm going, it's so fun, mm -hmm. dude. Right when we start riding, I always get this like little jitter. Always. Yeah, and yeah I, I think I, your tires flat again. Is it flat? bikes are another one of those things man <laughs> each bike is so different have their own characteristics that's why <laughs> that's why you gotta have three or four of them just like anything right <laughs> same thing same thing with guns too it's hard to just stick with one gun just because you know a lot of the other brands and stuff have some key significant features that you know the one you have doesn't or and whatnot, so it's crazy. Damn, and this hydraulic clutch. Damn, I'm getting excited about this. I want to get a new bike so bad. Oh. Man, this is fun to ride. If I had this bike for myself, I'd probably. Ooh. Get some handlebar riser for it. Just because I'm a little bit taller. I'm about 6'2. Um, so. Damn, dude. Cake cans are so nice. Damn, <laughs> that's a little motor, you can barely even hear it. <laughs> dude, this thing's awesome. I like this, dude. It's so light, it actually does pretty good. Exactly. Damn, this is fun. Man, this isn't even like a... This isn't even like a real single track bike. This is a motocross bike. Holy crap, man. For this thing being a little 150, I'll tell you. 
Can climb some hills. <laughs> I wish I, I was trying to get my phone out. <laughs> Got to be 
there no more. My legs are fucking toast. Got done riding. What do we ride for a couple hours? See it. Three, three hours. Three hour ride. <laughs> no, it's like two and a half. Uh -oh. Probably did about 22, 23 miles. Um, got everything loaded up now. Now we're following Bart. We're gonna go get a, grab a burger or something at Wild Horse Pass. But burger time, man. Yes, sir. Today was a good ride. Oh yeah. My shoulder freaking popped out, so it's a little tough towards the end. I just tried to take it easy and take it slow over the whoops and stuff, but other than that, it was good.